What's up, you guys? I'm Glorificated, and welcome back to the inner world. I am super happy to be back with this game. I've I've missed it. I've been wanting to play this game forever now. Um, I almost didn't record today. Uh, I had testing today. I was getting my um my GED finished up with, and some difficulties happened. Uh, okay. Well, last time I went and took the test. Okay, this is the last test I have to take. It's math. Um, I went. And I was completely zoned out. I wasn't even focused. I was like drawing on the board that they gave me pretty much. That's how unfocused I was. Um, and I almost passed it with like, I missed by one point. And this time I went, I was completely focused. I had so much confidence that I was going to pass this thing. And even like halfway through, I was like, I'm definitely going to pass this test. And I was, I wasn't drawing on it. I was using the board for like writing down the equations. I was doing everything perfectly. I, by the end of the test, I was like, I passed this. No problem. I passed this. And then I get home and I look at my test scores and it was like 136. I failed worse than I did last time when I was more focused. So what I'm getting from this experience that I just got is be more unfocused and draw more to pass or just guess more to pass pretty much i'm just i'm flabbergasted you guys i'm flabbergasted but you guys came here to watch the inner world not listen to my troubled stories so yeah we're back with robert my boy robert my buddy old pal and we're in the bar this time that's i forgot we made it to the bar let's go talk to wind monk come on come on oh. Damn. Hello. Wow, you're Malleus, the wind monk of the valleys. Now, what the? Brazilians, are you there? No, I'm afraid not. It's only me, Robert. I'm so glad to meet you personally. Okay. Is there a reason why you're disturbing me? <laughs> Dick. Have you seen a girl with a pigeon? No. Are you talking about Laura? No, oh, he knew yes, she visits me in the bar from time to time and brings me some root tea. Nice girl. Root tea. Always realizes when she's disturbing. She stole from Conroy. That's an outrageous accusation. The poor thing has strayed from the right path. If she left the path, where can I find her? Really, have I met such a non-spiritual root head like you? Root head? non spirit What? Ah, forget <clears throat> it. Alright, let's ask him about the game, What are you doing? I'm, uh, meditating. Looks like a lot of fun. He is meditating. Fun? If this was fun, it wouldn't have anything to do with religion. But what? I'm, um. Uh, Looking for inspiration. From a slot machine? Well, yes. Yes, well, until the inspiration finds me, mm. it can't hurt to use the time practically. Right. Practically. That makes sense. Somehow. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Good. I I'll go now. I'll go now. One moment, one moment, only one more game. Alright, let's talk to Barmaid. That must be the barmaid. I've never seen such a female Asposian before. Actually, I've never seen any female Asposian in the monastery. Wow. Alright, well, let's evaluate wow. him. Wow, a real wind monk. What an honor. What is he doing? If I didn't know better, I'd say he's gambling and drinking alcohol. Eh, he's lost his ways. Not monkish Hello. anymore. Are you the head of this establishment? I have no idea, sweetie. Sweetie. But I'm the owner of this bar. How about a jaw shatterer? Oh, um, what? Wait. It's a liqueur. Oh. The specialty of the house. Thanks, but I'd rather not. Maybe a head cracker then? Or a lava streamer? All of that sounds rather... It does. Violent. It does. Violent? You Look at his eyes, though. He's like... Mm -hmm. Easily flammable, mm -hmm. sweetie. You look like you could use some more hair on your chest. Thank you so much. He's I calling me a girl. I mean, she's I calling me a girl. Kill myself. Wait, what? Wait. 
Wait. No. Wait. Did he say he was gonna kill himself? Okay, let's talk about Lara. Have you seen a girl with a pigeon? Her name's Laura. Oh, sweetie, I meet a ton of people here. Why are you looking for her? She has something that belongs to me. I can imagine that. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I can't help you with that. Is that her when she was younger or something? Yeah, it has to be, because she has those pinkish arms. Oh wait, I do too. Is that me? Let's talk about the monk. The man at the slot machine is a wind monk. Can you believe that? He's one of the great three. Him? That old pincer is a regular here. If you ask me, he's more of a great loser. Yeah, he's not but doing don't too good. Feel honored that a real wind monk Seems like he's getting the same on. thing over and over again. As if I would need that. A monk in my bar. I was wondering why the Bazillions haven't been in here yet. Should they? Are you a sinner? You a know, sinner? Sweetie, back in the day, men worshipped me. Believe well. it or not. Okay, then I don't believe it. Yeah, it is her, because look, they made sure they kept that in. She looks older then than she does now, but that's supposed to be her younger self. Then again, it could be me. Robert, you're one sexy man. Don't, Don't quote me on that, guys. Left. He eats and sleeps the whole day, just like my husband used to. You can barely tell the difference between them. Your husband? Where did he go? He wanted to run away, but he didn't get far. What do you mean? He's right there. You can recognize him by his long nose and the coat hanger. Ah. Oh. I'm sorry. He, she yes. made her husband into he a coat hanger. He has the same since he got turned to stone. Or a coat rack. Wow. We already took. We already talked about the monk, didn't we? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Take care, sweetie. All right, we got alcohol from him now. Can we like? Can we drink it? The sight of it calms me. Oh, it's yeah, it's alcohol. I will keep it for a special occasion, or if I ever want to set something on fire. Ah, that was a little hint, a little hinty hinty. Let's talk to the sleeping guests. He seems to come here frequently. He's Actually, drunk. He never leaves. Yeah, this is his home. Hello. He's smiling in his sleep. Hmm. He seems to be happy. Good. Let's leave him alone. Let's Sweetheart, not make him mad. He's wasted. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Sweetheart, he's wasted. Let's go look at the gumball machine. There are a lot of colored balls in there. I get the feeling that they're looking at me. I need to insert a coin. We get a coin from him, can't we? All right, let's talk to this guy. Seems like he's here often. All these people seem to be here no, often. I'll leave him alone to whatever he's doing. Um. Wow, that's the barmaid. She's really pretty. Ah, so it's it is a barmaid. Fascinating what time can do to a woman. Yeah, it made her look younger. What about the blue eye things? She doesn't have that there. Is that supposed to make her look older or something? It just makes her look. Oh, it's supposed to be makeup. I get it. Now is not the right time for that. I'm catching some like weird sexual innuendos throughout this game. The ugliest canary I've ever seen. Dog cat. What game is this? Oh, honey. I didn't mean to. Hold on, do that again. That is by far the ugliest canary I've ever seen. Canary. Dog. Cat. What game is this? Oh, honey. Ah. Alright. Hey there, little guy. Can I pet you? He seems to be busy. Eating and sleeping. What about the husband? Why has your husband been turned into stone? Because the Bazillions were faster than me. Bazillions. Okay. That spell saved the disloyal dog. What do you mean? I mean, you can't castrate a statue. No matter how hard you try. So the bazillions are those little snake things that came out of the wind holes. 
and like started turning people to stone. And that's what the uh, his father figure was keeping everyone from. And that's why that thing outside of here is like everyone's turned to stone, the buildings in stone, everything. I wonder what they're about. I want to meet one. Guy has suffered enough. Oh, okay. We got a spider up here. Colored bottles. What's in there? Strange juice. Alcohol. Oh no. It smells like it could burst into flames at any moment. Okay. Um gambling machine. Let's see how that works. You insert money and pull the lever. And then again. And again. Okay. No, it's being used. <clears throat> and besides, I can't. There's one right here not being gambling. used. I have to find the girl with the pigeon. We gotta find Laura. Um Can we do anything with this? No wait, go back. Wait, no, go back. Why should I do that? I know, because I wasn't meaning to do it. Can we do this? Corked up lava streamer. So I was obviously supposed to do I that. I think that will work. That's just a random guess, isn't it? Can I give this to him? No, now is no time to fool around. What do I do with this then? Alright, let's check out the pillow. What does it say? Content absolutely lethal. Serve with a slice of lemon and a cocktail umbrella. Umbrella. No, I won't drink anything with a skull on the label. I've made that mistake before. <laughs> um. I don't think there's anything else to do in here. Yeah, I've talked to everything. Done everything? Okay, yeah, let's leave the bar. This lady. Um, something bare leather. What was it again? Let's talk to her again. You again. Do you have the onesie? Not yet. Uh... Then I don't know where the girl is. Oh, wow, you're so nice. What was the, le the stuff called again? Can't it be any other material? If you want the poor thing to keep freezing, is that what you want? No. Then you better bring me the onesie. What was the material well, though? Then, goodbye. Okay. If you're ever looking for, I will. I've already heard that before. All right. Let's see if we can leave now. No. Go. Dang it. Is there anything that we missed? It? No. Okay. Let's leave. All right, so we're in an alleyway now. We have some arms. Let's check out the arms. Oh my gosh, are those arms hanging out of the window? I hope the person belonging to those arms is still attached to them. Mm, yeah. All right, let's talk to. Hello them. up there. Can you hear in me? In prison? Who's there? Friend? Enemy? Fan? I believe. Fan. Friend? Oh, how nice to welcome a visitor. This is a prison. Right, let's talk about the... English Why are you in prison? Oh, that's a long story. I used to be one of Asposia's tailors, but the wind gods found my robes to be too... provocative. They attacked the city and Conroy captured what? me for my own safety. Against my will. Hmm. Actually, the story's not that long. You have to be Asposia's best tailor. Oh, I'm only a small stitch in the unending scarf of history. I feel like he's the guy off of uh, that Christmas movie. The uh, claymated one. He's the bad guy. He's the Sandman, I guess. I don't know. He has those arms. So you're a tailor? Oh, young friend, it's a lot more than a job. It's a calling. The needles are mental extensions of my arms. You have to become one with the fabric. The material has to flow through you. I have a feeling like so, he's... you're a tailor? Yes. You can't imagine how much I miss knitting. He's got yellow arms. Oh, yeah. If you miss knitting that much, I can help you. Yes. Can you get me out of here? Oh, God. I've been waiting years for this moment. Aw. Mm. Actually, 
I was hoping you could knit something for me. I mean, if you miss it that much, and all. Oh, yes, sure, that's also very... Mm, mm. What do you want me to knit for you? A onesie. Well, only if you want to. Oh, and then you get me out of here? I know. Conroy brought me here for my own safety. I don't get but it. I'd rather be turned into stone than spend another day in this cell. Well, I guess I can see what I can do. I Great. Okay. Well, then I need a knitting pattern, needles, and um, mm, what fabric are we looking for? Strawberry. Yarn Strawberry. Would be best. Okay. Well, I'm familiar with that. I used to have straw beer yarn when I was, well, free. But, but I really can't promise you anything. That's okay. This is the most hope I've had in years. Well, good. That's, uh, um, really tragic. But back to the onesie. <laughs> Feel free to ask whatever it is you want to know. Um. So that's about the strawberry yarn. The onesie should be made from strawberry yarn. Oh, oh, I remember that material well. I designed the three wind monks' fashionable robes. They were made from finest strawberry yarn. The material is extremely rare and very expensive. So that means I'm gonna need money? He insists on it. I guess I'll have to come up with something else. Yeah. Needles. Do you really require needles to knit? Yes. Call me old-fashioned, but I can't knit without needles. Well, I mean... Never mind. <laughs> Where can I get a knitting pattern? Think of something. I suggest something to you. You take your time and get the pattern, and I will... Wait here. Alright, well, we gotta find pattern, yarn, and... Needles. Okay. I'm I'm going now. Oh. Okay, I'll stay here. Yes. Alright, let's go. Let's go see if we can find some. We've got a someone with a lunchbox. Is that an officer? That's a guard, yeah. Cinomat. Oh, is that a bazillion? Yeah, it is. Output. Let's go to the cinematic. Let's go. A cinomat. The practical solution for sinners on the go. Confession and penance in less than one minute. So they turn me into stone if I... Tell me your sin. If it's bad. I feel like that goes up. That's like a meter of how bad it is. Little sin? No sin. What should I confess? I feel like I don't want to get turned into stone. Your sins. But I didn't do anything wrong. Tell me your sin. You're not listening to me. Sacrifice a mint to the Basilians. A mint. Sacrifice a mint? Alright, let's see. Hmm. Let me think. I think I got on people's nerves with all kinds of questions. Realize the weight of your guilt. The Basilian's judgment. Slap yourself and suffer. <laughs> what? Slap yourself. I want to know what he said about the mint. But I didn't do Sacrifice a mint to the Basilian's. That opens. Yeah. Okay, we need to find a mint. I guess I'll be go. Tell me your sin. No, I really wanted to. Tell me your sin. I'll just go now. Tell me your sin. Damn. Alright, we need to find a... Oh. I wonder how mints will redeem us from our sins. Can I take a mint? I have a mint. You can never have breath that's too fresh. Can we take another mint? Hold on. Tell me your sin. Let's get another mint because I feel like I need one again. Hold on. But I sacrifice a mint. Cool. So I, I can just get I can just keep getting no. mints whenever I want. I Tell Take another mint. Cool. Can I do something with it? Like put this in here? That could or... be fun. Won't help though. 
here. That's just a random guess, isn't it? Kind of like promote fresh bread. Lunchbox. Let's go talk to the guard. The Grand Fountain Guard, Asposia's elite, is having a coffee break. Let's go talk to him. Hello. Guard number eight two two reporting for duty. Oh, it's just me, Robert. I wanted to ask you something. I hope it's important because I'm about to have breakfast. I'm about to have breakfast. Breakfast. Um, Cinemat, View, Bazillions, Con Conroy, and Guard. Wow, there's a lot to talk about. Alright, let's talk about the view. You have a great view here. Yes, thank you. If the weather is nice, I could even see Upper Esposia. Sometimes mm. I think to myself, what if there is a guard standing there as well, thinking that his side is up and my side is down? Even though it's actually the other way around. You don't. You, you no longer have to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's actually based on electrons moving within the atoms, just to be precise. <laughs> wow. You've probably thought about this for a long time. No, it just now crossed my mind. Okay, let's talk about him. What are you doing here? I'm on guard. Well, thanks for that. What are you guarding? What am I guarding? What a question. Of course I'm guarding uh, this small house here. And uh, uh, the prisoners down there. And uh, the fountain, of course. I'm a fountain guard as well. What are you protecting ah. the fountain from? It's a personal order from Conroy. I have to guard the fountain. Yes, you just said that. Um, protect it from what? Resilience? <laughs> I guard the fountain. By the way, falling into the fountain is prohibited. Uh, has anyone fallen into it before? I can't imagine that. Ah, so don't fall into the fountain. Maybe it goes to another world, though. Because we're in, like, some soil right now. That's what it told us in the beginning of the game, that we're, like this little circle world inside of a bunch of soil. So we're like a plant. We're, we're pretty much a plant cell or something. So if you fall into it, maybe it goes to another cell or like another circle world. You never know. Does Conroy know? Conroy? Where? Is he here? He's not here, is he? Uh, no. No, he's not here. He's up here. But I have a question. I'm not officially authorized to receive questions. Does that mean I'm not even allowed to ask you any questions? But if I just ask you something and you react to it, like a few moments ago, yeah. then I've asked you something, although I'm not allowed to. And that's another question again. Hmm. Uh, wow. That's maybe your opinion. Robert, you're one smart... Aren't you afraid Explosion? that the Bazillions will turn you into stone? Why would they turn me into stone? Well, you're standing directly next to the fountain. You're probably going to be their first victim. Yeah? Hmm. Actually, I've only been here since yesterday. Thanks for the advice. Yeah. What kind of machine is that over there? Don't you know? That's the Cinomat. You don't seem to be the sharpest knife in the drawer. What does a sin o -mart do? Nothing. You have to confess all your sins to it. What did I do? Probably something. Nobody can walk around without making the Bazillions furious. Hmm. <laughs> so... Have a good day. I wonder what the Bazillions actually I are. Will. May the bazillions be with you. Or I'm just adding way too much and with you as well. Like to this game when it's really just a a drawing of something. It's not meant to be something. Cuz I'm saying like maybe it's a plant cell or something in this world because it's said in soil. Maybe I'm just making it out to be more than what it actually is. Um let's doesn't seem like there's anything more to do here. Actually, let's check out this Asposia's last active wind fountain. 
I can't reach it. Besides, people would probably notice if I took it. The wind fountain? Alright. Let's get out of here. Let's go try to find some strawberry yarn. Okay, we're just up here now. Conroy! Too big, too heavy, too angular. Too angular. Exposure's good shepherd. The name was Conroy's idea. Wait! Oh. Can I have another one of those pieces of paper? Too big, too heavy. There it is. Too angular. Alright, give me this. Take it. Conroy's practical tips and advice in case of a bazillion attack. Hmm. As the name. No, wait, let's. Too. Too big, too heavy, too, too angular. angular. Can I not take it? Thank you. Let's check it out. Come on, get back. Come on! Oh. What am I supposed to do with it? Um, Conroy's it. Daily Tips, number 2445. Prudent behavior in case of a bazillion attack. Or, turned into stone, what now? Oh, what now? I already know it all by heart. Hmm. Anything with Why this? Why should I do that? Anything well, with this? Anything with this? Well, anything with this? That won't work. Alright, well, it looks like I can't do anything. Um. Oh, wind turbine. I don't need that. They used to turn constantly. It was a beautiful sight. Yeah, that's a little skeptical too, because they're saying like there's no wind, but these things turn all the time. Like there's wind here, obviously. There's these things are blowing around. There's nowhere else to go now. I'm really just walking around in circles. Okay, let's get back out of here. Let's leave. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can we go down here? No, no. Can we go down? No, okay, I guess we can. All right, never mind. Let's go down. Oh, wait, I didn't say anything about his lunchbox. Oh, we gotta go back. Whoa, never mind. We're back. All explosions take cover. Oh, please, no. Bazillion, please don't hurt me. I'm a good explosion. Quiet. They can smell fear. Jeez. Well, that's just creepy. And a bazillion attack. He's just standing there. Oh my gosh. Until now, I just saw the attacks of the gods in safe distance from the balcony. Okay, well, maybe we were supposed to leave and come back? Alright, let's talk about his lunchbox now. Nice lunchbox. It would fit into my collection of things that I might need at some point. I can try, but that's my lunchbox. That's my lunchbox. I, I just wanted to. You can't have it. Yes, I just. My lunchbox, not yours. Can I, I have I it? I apologize. Kind of. Oh wait, we didn't see the poster either. One of Conroy's instructional leaflets turned into stone. What now? Conroy suggests stay calm and wait for help. Makes sense. Conroy is such a smart ruler. Okay. I don't need that. Once I'm in the palace again, I can just ask him for, ad for advice. All right, well... We just saw an attack. What will happen if we come back again? All right, hold on. Let's see. Can we give it to him? I don't think that will work. Right, well, can we give it to him then? No, no. That no, was not the time to fool around. Um, can we give it to him? That's just a random guess, isn't it? A little bit. Um, can we give Conrad? He who works without a moan. Now we can take his lunchbox. <laughs> Always at your service, Abbot Conroy. It could always be. Bam! Bam. I knew what I was doing. All right, you guys. I'm going to leave this episode of The Inner World here. I We got a lot of progress done. We saw one of the bazillions now. 
and we have a lunchbox and we talk to a guy that's going to help us knit this uh onesie that we have to do for that lady and we got some alcohol some lava pretty good hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it thumbs up the video tap that subscribe button if you want to help me out and support me um, I don't know what I'm gonna be playing tomorrow. I think I'm gonna be coming back to. Uh, to I might do some Subnautica. Yeah, I might do some Subnautica. Or I might do a vlog. You never know. Just be looking out for that tomorrow. I love you all. Bye.